Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. Hi. Nice to see you, too. This has been a wonderful presentation. Thank you so much. Um, I was born in Wellesley, so it's just really nice to see, you know, a lot of the companies that I grew up with, such as Anderson and stuff. I think what comes to my mind is that it's so inspiring to see all of the love that's come out of kind of a, a very tragic situation, meaning that, and it's, it's coming from an individual level and cascading and rippling out to a community and then rippling out to further than that community into the state and then from there, you know, into the world. And I'm just, I'm just so inspired by the spilling over, I think, of everyone's generosity in the cup of, of love, really. Uh, beautifully said. Beautifully said. Thank you so much for that. That's. Uh, we're going to be wrapping up in just a minute, but that's one of the most positive uh, sharing that uh, anyone could offer for us to, to get underway with our day. Uh, let me go back to Susan Logan. Susan, how about a word from you? What comes to mind? Um, like Kathy, I am really amazed at the and grateful for how many. When I think of the doctors and nurses and the intelligence and the people who are putting together ideas for vaccines and things. I am in awe of the truly talented people that have put their talents to the service of others. It is an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing to watch. I would encourage you all, the um, Berkeley School of Music put together a beautiful um, confirmation, um, beautiful um, piece, What the World Needs Now. Um, and they did it all from isolation. It is absolutely glorious. Um, but so many people have so much to give and doing it in such a positive way. And it's really hopeful that we as a nation can come together. Um, and I hope it's a great thing for the kids to see, you know, and learn who really basically, who are you in the face of adversity? Actually, that's an amazing point right there. Who are we? Who are you? Who am I? That's often a common question and something that can be shaken in a time of uncertainty and uh, dramatic change, or even not so dramatic change, it can shake our sense of self. When, and to your point, that is such a foundational aspect of who we are. Thank you for that. Gracie, Thank you for hosting. You? Oh, you're very welcome. Um, yeah, so kind of piggybacking off of what um, Susan said, I have a quote, um, the wisest mind is something yet to learn. Um, it was my yearbook quote when I graduated high school a million years ago. Um, and I think, you know, learning makes us better, whether it's on a micro level, like I made dumplings last night, they turned out terrible, but I learned something new. Um, but, you know, we as businesses um, are learning new things, being kind of faced with these crazy obstacles that we never expected to face, you know, maybe in this lifetime. Um, so, you know, as a business, as businesses, as a town, um, as a nation, even, um, I think, you know, learning makes us better, um, what to do, what not to do. Um, so hopefully that's one thing we can take out of all of this is the lessons we learn. You know, it, that what you're talking about, in, in another word, if I may, is growth. Yeah, absolutely. We, we grow. And one of the best things that can happen from this is that we grow stronger. We grow, as some of you were saying, closer together. That's, that's wonderful. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Emily, I see that you're muted, but I'd love to hear what you've got to say. I'm trying to unmute you. There we go. Good, good, good to see you. I just quickly wrote it in the chat. I have my last class of the day of the semester at 1030, so I have to get going soon. But um, I just wanted to say my words would probably be optimism. I think I've been thinking about that a lot. Like my mom said, like finding the silver lining and um, finding the little times to maybe go on a walk and quarantine with two other people here in Vermont and um, kind of finding the little things in the day that when we're feeling down or, um, I don't know, just pent up, we want to get out, we, we can go on a walk, obviously staying apart from other people, but um, kind of seeing the silver lining and things that the world still has out there. And also compassion and understanding that people that are working in grocery stores and everything like that are also dealing with their own things but are being very selfless and I think kindness is goes a long way so just being understanding and kind to other people. Oh, words to the wise that's wonderful I can't help but get the sense listening to you that even when you're wearing a mask there's a smile underneath <laughs> you might not be able to see I, it but I your, try. <laughs> your eyes smile and so, so do your words that's wonderful.